Within Furhill, we, we initially used the circle documentation um, to support uh, an autistic learner in trying to make sure that the classrooms that they used were autism appropriate. Um, this involved also working with the young person um, who gave us their list of triggers, um, things they liked, didn't like about classrooms, which we also fed into the documentation. So what we did was we did initially an environmental assessment of a number of classrooms that the young person would be using around the school. Um, and we found there was things that, you know, normally you wouldn't um, consider to be a distraction or an issue that uh, an autistic learner might find more difficult to cope with. Um, an example of that was for, um, in the middle of a science classroom, we covered up the Bunsen burners in the middle just with a box because it then meant there wasn't that uh, distraction in eyesight. Um, we also, as we were looking at it, we looked at the, the shape and the layout of the classrooms. And although we'd initially started doing it for one young person, some of the teachers actually told us that they had used the, the advice from it to change the layout for all their classes, giving them more space, um, making them more friendly for all pupils. And we looked at, again, for that particular young person, in terms of seating plans, what was a supportive social area. Um, and we also looked at where they were moving around the school as well. Um, where there could be, you know, as much as we could do, we would try and minimise things that, again, could be distracting them.